Happy Holidays from ABC7. Now, in high definition, this is an ABC7 News Good Morning America update. Good morning, I'm Cameron Riddle. It is 722 and 44 degrees on this Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Topping our news this morning, a 12-year-old girl was attacked by a man while she walked her dog down a Carmel street. Police said at about 4 p.m. on Friday, Carmel police officers were dispatched to the 42nd hundred block of East 126th Street on the reports of a battery. According to the girl's statement, the man grabbed her and tried to choke her. She fought him off by scratching him before running away and calling police. Police said they searched the area with canine units and have since increased patrols in the area. Investigators described the alleged attacker as a white man in his early 20s or 30s with dark hair and wearing a green or gray shirt. Carmel Police asked anyone with information about this incident to contact them at 317-571-2500. A man was killed in a wrong way crash on Interstate 465 early Sunday morning. Indiana State Police said the crash happened just before 4 a.m. in the southbound lanes of I-465 near mile marker 424 in Boone County. Investigators said the man was driving a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix northbound in the southbound lanes of I-465 in the path of a Lincoln SUV. The vehicles collided head on in the middle of the three lane interstate, spinning the Pontiac around facing south. The SUV landed in the nearby median. The Boone County Coroner's Office identified the driver as 31 year old Carlos Cavanzo of Washington, Indiana. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Police said three passengers in the SUV and one passenger in the Pontiac were rushed to St. Vincent's Hospital with non life threatening injuries. Fatal alcohol crash team investigators said open alcohol beverage containers were found in the Pontiac. Indianapolis firefighters are investigating a possible Saturday night manhole explosion in downtown Indianapolis. It happened at about 930 on Saturday as IFD crews were called to the intersection of Maryland and Pennsylvania on reports of a car fire. Officials said when firefighters arrived they found a car on fire and a manhole cover that had exploded underneath the car. Police said streets surrounding Conseco Fieldhouse were blocked off while IFD investigators remained at the scene to determine the cause of the explosion. We've gotten off to a wet week here in Central Indiana. We've got the timeline on the storms that'll move through the area today, as well as your ABC 7 day forecast after this. Investigate. How dangerous do you feel it is? Take action. You want to say cut the dang red tape. Get results. We will get the word out. Get the facts because the facts change lives. I think paying your claims. How much yeah. of your expenses does that cover? Ask the tough questions. News tonight on an investigation you saw here. Get your hands off the camera. More investigations, more answers standing by you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for coming. ABC World News with Diane Sawyer. someone else? Judge Judy rules it for on ABC7. Welcome back. We are just two days away from Thanksgiving and as everyone gets on the road to go visit family today and tomorrow become very important travel days. As always, the weather and gas prices are the top concerns. ABC7 is on your side with a check of the gas gauge prices around the area. IndyGasPrices.com says the lowest price for gas is 308 at 21st and Post Road, as well as several gas stations on the city's east side. Prices also aren't bad at Noblesville, where it looks like gas is going for about 311. The higher prices seem to be on the opposite side of town, with prices up around 330 to 350 on the south and west sides, Brownsburg, Carmel, and downtown Indianapolis. Thunderstorms are moving across the state today, just as the holiday travel day kicks in the full year. Today's high will be 58 degrees with a low of 41. Your chance of getting hit by that showers is 80%. It may be 100% for some of you watching already. Your ABC 7-day forecast looks like this. Tomorrow, a high of 48 with the bus stop temperature at 31, so make sure the kids are bundled up. Thursday and Friday, sunny with highs in the mid-50s. Chance of rain returns over the weekend and Monday and Tuesday cloudy and the lower 30s.
We're back with more news in 30 minutes. For news anytime, log on to the IndyChannel.com where news is updated all day long. I'm Cameron Riddle wishing you safe travels and a happy Thanksgiving. Stay tuned. More GMA is coming your way.